another episode of the Minecraft Manual. Yes, I am glad to be back. It is another beautiful day in Minecraft and you might notice that a few things have changed. Not much, but a few. So here we've actually got an entrance to our mine now and I've put a few chests down on the floor just so we've got a bit more storage for our mines. And also, we got really lucky. So if we go down here, and then follow the mine we made last episode. So these are the diamonds that we came across last episode and I thought I'd continue mining and then I came across these diamonds over here. So when we get fortune, we can mine them. But I also came across a really horrible cave as well. Oh, 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 that's lava. That's lava. Um, I don't have any blocks on me. That was... <laughs> uh, that was... There we go. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> it was here. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully when we get fortune, when we can enchant as well, we can mine these as well. But I'm going to leave them there for now because we're not going to be going, doing anything down here in today's episode. We are going to be doing a bit of farming, so let's head up to the surface and get ourselves prepared. So we've made it to our house now, and if we look in this chest, we can see some items and some of this stuff is useful. And some of this stuff I've kept here so we can farm it as well. And some of this stuff we can't farm. So let's grab some sugar cane because we can plant this but there are certain ways of planting it. We can also grab some wheat seeds as well and uh, some potatoes. I don't, I'm not gonna worry about carrots yet, but I'll take a few with me anyway. And I don't really have much bone meal either. How many bones do I have? Is that all the bones I have? I have one more in there and that's pretty much it. So you can convert bones into bone meal and I'm going to do that with these bones here. I'm not going to worry too much because I'll get loads of bone meal eventually. And that breaks us down. You get three bits of bone meal each bone you break down. So that's given us 23 bits of bone meal. That will come in handy later. Another thing that we do need to craft is a hoe. So I think I'm just going to grab two bits of cobblestone for now and craft ourselves a hoe. So it's the same with the sticks as you would with any other tool like this. And then you want a bit there and there. Yeah. And just two on the top and that gives you a stone hoe. And that's what we need to in order for us to grow some stuff. We also need a bucket of water as well which we got last episode so let's go out here and I think just for the moment I'm going to just plant a few crops and stuff here for now um but let's just show you something quickly when we do plant crops and we need a rough area here so let's use this area as an example so what I'm going to do is Place a bucket of water down there. That gives us a water a water source. So what we can do with this water source is here's where the hoe comes into it. We right click on the grass, and that changes this into I call it soil, but it the block is actually called it's called farmland. Farmland will not work if it's not near water. For example, if I was to convert this bit of land into farmland without any water near it it will just convert back into dirt and then that dirt will convert back into grass within a short amount of time so that's why you need water when you're making farmland and i think it works with dirt as well in 1.16 so let's just try that quickly that gives us our dirt block and if we get out the water and hoe that yep it works with dirt blocks as well so we can hoe this around the water like so let's just get rid of these and that gives us farmland this lets us plant crops so we can plant wheat seeds on it we can plant potatoes on it and we can plant carrots on it and there are a few other things we can plant but i'm not going to worry about that in today's episode 
this is just briefly about planting so let's plant our potatoes down and you can tell that nothing happens that's because it takes a while for these guys to grow and it depends on a random tick speed even i won't know how long it takes potatoes actually going to take to grow fully but it normally takes about 10 to 20 minutes without getting too precise and that goes with any of the crops that you plant down here as well so we can also plant our carrot down and wheat seeds which actually gives us wheat they used to be called seeds but they're called wheat seeds now so i'm going to plant three of these guys down like so and the radius for farmland and one water source is actually nine by nine area so we go four out this way four out this way and four out this way and then we can square that off oh i missed one side and then four out this way and then we can square that off with a hoe I think we should have enough durability for this with this one but we can easily make another one if not and what i mean by square that off is actually make a square of farmland we've got to be careful with the sun coming down as well because it's not safe out here so probably need to sleep now out so this is the maximum amount of farmland one water source block can give you so if i was to actually convert the rest the other layer around this to farmland this will as i say eventually just turn into dirt and then into grass and i think it was over there where our example was here and i'm actually surprised that's still there uh but that that will definitely change back into dirt as you can see here these two have turned back into dirt and yeah so that is the maximum amount of farmland you can convert with one water source block so another thing to worry about with farmland is if we jump on it as you can see that also converted it back into dirt so it is a way to convert farmland back into dirt by just jumping on it like so but as you can probably imagine if you're actually planting crops and you jump on it like so it actually deplants it so you do get the seed back but whatever level it was grown at is just null and void basically so yeah that's another thing to be wor to be cautious with so i'm actually going to plant all of these wheat seeds and all of this stuff so you might be thinking i've bought some sugar cane here so why can't i place that on soil and honestly i don't know why it's just you can't plant you can't plant it that, that you can't plant it on farmland you can plant it on dirt but it also needs to be next to a water source block and that can be a running water source block it just needs to be next to a water source block so Let's grab ourselves a water source block from here. Like so, actually, I can demonstrate here, actually. So we can plant it on dirt, like so. But we can also plant it on sand as well. So this is actually a good place to demonstrate. Uh, so you can plant it on both sand and also dirt, which also makes this a really volatile way of farming it. And it also makes your farms look cool if you use sand as well. So with all that in mind, let's go back into our storage system and try and find a bit more iron. I do believe I have some here, yep. Let's make another bucket. So we want three bits of iron and place them in your crafting table like that. That gives us another bucket. This is for another water source or another bucket of water. So let's go to our river again and make one here. Hopefully for the last time this time because we can come over here and as long as you've got two water sources i've even got a hole here which is good because i was trying to throw eggs in there let's cover that up quickly and get rid of these two blocks like that place our water source there and a water source there and that gives us an infinite water supply so we can grab from the middle and yeah we can just keep refilling and filling up our buckets if we grab let's just do that if we grab the water from there we can't then 
refill a bucket from the middle because then it just gets rid of the, that one so we need to have at least the middle one empty of water and then that will give us a water source block so that's how we get an infinite water source block water source so i'm going to use this to my advantage and just get rid of these blocks here and this is so that we can plant some sugar cane that i think oh we might actually come into a height problem there so probably not a good idea to do there actually so yeah uh, let's actually cover that up as well if we can great so actually let's go up here and do it instead so that's five six seven and then we can have our eight one here so the reason why i've dug a trench eight wide is because a water source block can travel eight blocks so from this end all the way to this end the water source water can travel on one horizontal layer as well or y axis so if i was to get rid of this block the water wouldn't go any further because it's already reached eight blocks there are other significances to how water reacts as well for example it can turn corners like this um but that's probably for when we get into like water streams and stuff like that for now let's just worry about how big we can make this which is eight blocks ish we can even utilize this if we wanted to all i'm using this for is a temporary place so we can plant some more sugar cane and sugar cane will grow pretty much anywhere as long as it's got a water source next to it even if it's running water source as you can see here so i can move that and put that there and it will still grow so other plants act differently but we'll get into them when we actually farm them for now i just need quite a bit of paper and I also need quite a bit of leather as well because I was going to try and get an enchanting table but I realised that I, there's no point getting an enchanting table until I've got some bookshelves to go with it. So I think that's the reason for this episode basically. So we can farm some sugar cane which we've got down there and also find some cows to farm as well. Now we've got our cook cooker? now we've got our sugar cane growing it's time to get on with the leather or in this case to find some cows so we've got some wheat in here which we need because there are other ways you can transport mobs like minecarts and stuff like that but at the moment i don't really have them resources and so we'll go through them as and when we need to but a good way of at least attracting some types of mobs is wheat so we can attract cows and I definitely saw a few cows around here earlier and they can also attract other mobs like sheep and I think there's probably a couple of other mobs which I forgot about as well but I definitely saw a few cows over there. Oh there's even a horse over there but we don't have a saddle unfortunately so we can't do anything about that. So that's why we want some wheat and I definitely saw some cows closer to here but they're not here at the moment so that's one thing another thing that we need to do is make ourselves some fence gates so let's go in here and grab some fence gates from our crafting table so here we are we need two bits of sticks and four oak planks that gives us three oak fences we need quite a few of these 39 should be enough fence gates now uh, sorry not fence gates oak fences even uh, we also need to sleep. Alright, so we got some oak fences here. We could also make an oak fence gate as well. Uh, so let's just make our... Oh, we used it all up, did we? Okay, let's just make ourselves some more oak fence... Oak planks even. And um, a oak fence gate is somewhere. Here we go. So we need four sticks and two planks for the fence gate. We only need one to let ourselves in and out. Uh, and we need to make a pen for these guys so I was thinking over this side of the house we've got quite a wide area of oh, this side even so we've got quite a wide area here we could utilize and then we can just add a roof to the cow pen later on but for now let's just start placing some fence gates 
So I'm going to do that all episode. Some oak fences even. So we've got an area we can pen off and keep our mobs. So the reason I'm using fence gates. So the reason I'm using oak fences is because as a normal player you can't jump over them. Because they are technically one and a half blocks tall. That means that you can't just jump over them from the same height. Uh, so you actually need something like this to jump over them. And the same on this side. And you, there's other tricks as well you can use in order to get over them. Uh, like putting carpets on them as well. But it basically ensures that any mobs that are in here, because they're not that bright, aren't going to escape. So let's also place our oak fence there as well. So now we've got our pen sorted out, we need to go hunting for some cows. So I could go for sheep and get some wool, but at the moment I really need leather. So that's the reason why we're going for the cows. And hopefully it won't take too long before we come across a few. Alright, so I found our first cow here. They are next to a sheep as well. So if we manage to catch a sheep, that would be great as well. But as you can see... That cow is attracted straight away to us and also follows us because we've got wheat in our hand. So if I was to take this away from my offhand, as you can see, it's in my hotbar now. And if I was to switch to my hoe, he would just lose interest in me again. So then if I was to switch back to my wheat, <laughs> they're interested in me again. So now it's basically just a case of getting them interested with the wheat and slowly making our way to the pen and making sure these guys following us as well so we're not far away at least which is the good thing so this is the cow that i must have saw earlier on that and we've also got a sheep following them as well so that's even better <laughs> let's get rid of these that 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 leaves and they're still following us nice awesome looks like we might have done this so let's then hopefully they can just walk in here like this oh they're getting pushed around aren't they come on one of you make it let's do that yeah there we go yes we got both of them in nice and shut that gate and they can't move either because the gate is also the same as a fence gate as well awesome yeah. So we got ourselves a sheep and a cow. So the reason we want one more cow is to breed them and make more cows because that is in essence farming. And if we got an another sheep as well, we could do the same with a sheep. Unfortunately, we can't breed the sheep with the cow because genetics don't work that way in real life. And yeah, it would just be dumb if you could. There are certain animals you can crossbreed, but that's probably for a different episode as well. There is also a cow over here, so he's our second victim. And he's actually not that far away either. Oh, and also these guys are going to be wanting their wheat as well, aren't they? So if we open this gate, go right to the far end. That's three cows and one sheep now. Nice, let's quickly get out of here before they escape. Great. Nice. Awesome, we got some cows here now and a sheep. So I might work on getting another sheep in here later on. But for now, we've got some cows, which is the main objective. And we also need to eat a cow because our hunger. Great. All right, so now we've got our cows here. What can we do with them? Well, in essence, not really much. They're just mobs that walk around mooing. But we can breed them, as I mentioned earlier on. So how we breed them is different mobs have a liking to different foods in the game. But cows and sheep, as we all know, like wheat. And this is what we use to breed cows and sheep. So if I was to feed this sheep, it would go into love mode and you would see hearts. And the same with the cows as well. Let's do that with cows first. So if we were to feed this cow a bit of wool oh i've got particles off that's why all right so the first cow we <laughs> fed did actually get into love mode but unfortunately i didn't have my particles on to show you so let's feed another cow and you can see the hearts there and that should 
create a little baby and there we have it a little baby cow and we also get an advancement the parrots and the bat let the parrots and the bats which is breed a mob in minecraft and that's what we've done so yeah uh, we can't breed any more than that because babies can't breed unfortunately and this guy's lonely at the moment so we've got to wait for this guy to grow up and then we should be able to breed them again but we have to wait for the this guy to grow up so one way we can speed up the wet how fast he grows up is by feeding him wheat and that knocks off i think like five percent off the actual time it takes them to grow up depending on how long it's already taken and i think it takes up to 20 minutes for them to grow up normally in game tick so it doesn't matter if you're sleeping or not that won't make any difference to the time it takes for them to grow up so i think it's it might even be 10 minutes i'd have to check that properly um but every 10 to 20 minutes and it should grow up and yeah but that is just waiting around and then we just repeat the process with wheat talking about wheat we don't have a lot at the moment which is why i'm growing it up here although that's going to take Quite some time to grow by the looks of it, although I really can't tell with the new, I think this one's fully grown. So let's grab that. Yes, it was fully grown. So we got another bit of wheat. We need one more bit and then we can breed some more cows. So let's also grow them seeds. These potatoes look like they're done as well. Nice. Great. So let's plant some more back there as well. And this is just going to be like a little cabbage patch for now where we just grow everything we need for now it's basically a case of getting enough wheat to feed the cows in order to breed them but there is another way we could potentially get some wheat and that is from this village that is only if they've got them around although i haven't seen them so and the sun's also going down as well so let's try and find ourselves a bed as well run the bed somewhere in here i know there is yep move thank you um sometimes you actually find hay bales around villages but this one doesn't seem to have any there might be some over there but no there's there's no hay bales in this village there is however a lot of wheat over here that hasn't grown that looks like it's grown so we can at least grab this and replant it as well and then we'll just judge it from there, I guess, because this is going to take a while to get in our current predicament in the game, in our current level in the game, shall I say. So I think what we're going to have to do is just wait until that little baby grows up now, because uh, that's all we can do. We've got enough wheat at least to uh, grow a few more cows. So let's head back. All right, so one thing that I've got to mention with growing crops is this is also the reason why I got the bones and the bone meal is you can also use bone meal to grow crops as well. And this is a faster way of acquiring said crops, in this case wheat. However, you do use a lot of bone meal. So you need a lot of bone meal in order to get a lot of wheat but you can get it fast as well. It just means that you need to get a lot of bone meal. There are ways in the game of doing that really easily, but at this stage of the game, we can't really do that. So <laughs> yeah, so just to be aware, you can actually grow these with bone meal as well, if you so choose. So that's what I've done here. So we've got some more wheat here to grab, and then I'm just gonna use my the rest of the bone meal I've got on these this a lot here that there we go and yeah we can just do that and then grab these seeds and replant basically fill this whole lot i think with either potatoes carrots or wheat it's mostly wheat at the moment but there are a few carrots and potatoes in there as well uh and we've also got some more sugar cane to grow so let's go over here and plant this well uh, gotta be careful with that <laughs> campfire it's caught me a couple of times actually great awesome and we can also grab them too and we've got five it's sugar, sugar cane now that's awesome so let's put that in there along with our wheat 
and seeds and stuff like that and i don't think our cow's grown up yet is he grown no he's still a little baby yet so yeah let's wait until he grows up and also get a cup of tea in the meantime i guess so while we're waiting for this little fella to grow up let's see if we can actually capture a another sheep and put him in the pen as well and then later on we'll separate the bunch but for now hopefully we can find another sheep i mean there were more sheep around here than there were cows <laughs> yeah there might be over there to be fair so let's head over there and see if we can find one all right so i've come across a couple more cows and me being me i just can't help but lure them in with some we still no sheep though i could have sworn there was a load of sh sheep over here somewhere i just don't know where meh anyway we've got a couple of cows following us so that's not too bad there's another cow over there i'm actually gonna grab these guys uh and there's a cow over there as well all right so we got a grand total of six cows and two sheep in here along with the baby cow which is actually grown up so we've got another four cows in there that's 10 cows and three sheep in here that's providing we can get them all in here without them hurting us too much or getting out so let's do the same trick we did over here and hopefully they make their way in relatively soon we need to give him a little push. <laughs> you know what's good for you, buddy. Yep, over here maybe? No? Yep. Great. Yes, they're all in. Nice. So now we need to get Mad Dash out. Close that before any escape. Great. <laughs> so that's 10 cows in here now. Let's actually get rid of that before any of them escape. Although I doubt it would happen. And let's just breed them with the amount of... Uh, we, we do have I'm just gonna spam breed them this time and yeah I think that's all of the wheat we could use with these guys at the moment but yeah so we get getting quite a good amount of uh, mobs here <laughs> awesome so ladies and gentlemen I think I am going to actually call it here for today's episode because it's going to take a while to actually farm these guys up and get the numbers that we need and also get all the sugarcane we need talking about sugarcane there we go awesome so I hope you enjoyed this episode and now you should be able to breed your own mobs yourself so thank you very much for watching my name is Mighty High if you like this video then please click the like button and if you really liked it then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads. I've been Mighty High and thank you very much for watching. Good.